So, you know, I'm reading this book, you know, the, uh, the Thomas Frank book. Where's the cover? Oh, here's the cover. Uh, the people know. Oh, the people, comma, know. Like not K and O W. It should be the people know. But, you know, they don't want, anyway, they don't want the people to know. It's uh, a brief history of anti populism. Populism. Strange word to me, populism. Actually, it's not a strange word. It's supposed to say it's a strange word. But, you know, it looks like that. He's written some other books. This guy, Thomas Frank. I think the ones that people know is like this thing, um, What's the Matter with Kansas? Some other stuff that he wrote. Anyway, because this is the one here. The people know. See, that's what it is. So I've been reading through it. Well, I mean, 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 I had to take a little time off, you know, because I had to, uh, to, went to the dentist, right? That's why you see this little, it looks like I got a little, like, you know, Kanye West jaw, you know, <laughs> like that Michelle Obama jaw, you know, but it's not, it's that, it'll go down. I had to have some teeth extracted. It's a long story, don't worry about it. I talked to Joe Biden about it, but I didn't talk to him about it. I, I sent him a message. I don't know if he got it. Or not, right? I sent it to Instagram, because I do Instagram too, but you know, I don't know. I like Instagram. See, he, uh, he on this channel here, this this is like my memoir channel. You know, I'll be talking about stuff that happened in my life. You know what I mean? So I'd be rambling on, you know, so you shouldn't really do, you know, unless you go to, oh, the interview part, but the, 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 the play, in the, in the playlist, they have the interview stream and then they have uh, somebody, the, the brother and the black man, somebody, but the interview stream has all that stuff. That's the one you should be listening to. If you listen to me right now, Stop, go to the interview stream because it got some lot of interesting people in there. I say it's a lot, it's true. Anyway, so I was eating this part here. It says, uh, and so you know, I mark up. I, when I was a kid, I mean, I would never, I was like, I never marked up books. Never, I never, I never dog eared books. Books were sacred to me. I never do anything like that because I guess, tell you the truth, see, in my mind, books is what got me out of the South Bronx. I, mean, books, I could like to really read between the lines, you know what I mean? I can't. Uh, I can I can get a lot out of a sentence, you know. I don't know why. I just I just could. This always also with like you know uh, when I see a movie, I can read between the lines there. When I see a, a trail, and I can read between the lines stuff, you know what I mean? And of course, of course, it expands to like you know like uh, or if somebody gives a speech or some politicians be say something. I mean, I'd be reading between the lines, you know. Anyway, so um, so it was saying. Oh wait a second. Oh hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to it. I can't. God, let me tell you what happened. Because of this stuff here, right? I had to, uh, uh, I had to take some, you know, uh, um, some way called antibiotics or whatever. They said something like you should have probiotics. Something like so, and I went, I went, and I got this thing here, this juice, Good Belly Probiotics, right? And then it's Good Belly Probiotics. What does it have? Ingredients: filtered water. Okay, no problem. Organic pear juice from concentrate. Okay, wait a second. But this says it's mango. Oh, mango flavored. Okay. <laughs> it's a mango flavored. Hey, first thing, hey, look, they got mangoes on the cover. It was mango juice. Yeah, mango juice, like, you know, when I get my mango juice, like this, this is my mango juice. I didn't open it yet, you know. Mango blend. I love this stuff. Mango blend juice has organic mango puree, organic apple juice, organic lemon juice. That's it. That's what it has on there. So, there you go. <sighs> look at that. So, anyway. I figured I'd get some of this. And I better pour this one first because that mango juice is thick, thick. All right. So it just has, uh, what does this say? It has uh, oh, um, filtered water, organic pear juice from from concentrate. This is watered down. It might even have some sugar in it, right? Uh, organic mango puree. Okay, that's not from concentrate. Organic, that's what I can get away with. Okay. Organic evaporated cane sugar. Mm. Organic banana puree. Contains 2% or less of organic oat flour. Oh! Organic flowers, natural flavors, citric acid, organic barley malt, organic something gum, and lactobacillus somebody, plantarium. Lactobacillus, that's what it is, contains gluten from organic oat flour and barley malt. But this stuff has that the stuff that's good for your gut. <clears throat> you know? So here's what you do. You know, here's what I did because, again, because this, I want some more probiotics in my thing because somehow it's supposed to be good for you. That's what they say. So I pour some some of this in there. Oh, I see. Now you see it looks like pear, okay? All right. I ain't going to pour a lot in there, you know, because I love me some mango juice. Then I pour my thick mango juice over it that mixes it up real nice. 
Yum. It doesn't change the color that much, but yeah. So I do it that way. <laughs> now, see, I got to do it because I, I can't, I'm not supposed to eat on this side of the mouth, whatever, have you some, try to take it easy on this side of the mouth. And also, uh, the, the whole thing is like, I like to cooperate. So they say like three days or something like that. I'm going like five days at least, maybe even a week. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I go to, let me tell you something. No, no I'm not going to tell you nothing. Okay, so let's taste it. It do taste as strong as that mango, but that mango didn't really cool it out. Man, this stuff must be some strong uh, pear and citric, all of this that stuff they had in there. Huh. Not bad, though. Go down my throat. Don't have to worry about it. It's got their sutures in there because they, have, they took out the bottom one and the top. And then, but plus my, 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 I got this, but my root there was like, like a claw root. <laughs> Like, like, so they had to like work. <laughs> I had them boys working, man. Boy had to work hard on me. Anyway, but plus he told me about this like bone density that I have. Yo, know, look, here's what he said. That they, they talk about the dentist now. Not joke about the dentist. That African Americans like me, African male, they said African American male, they have some sort of the the underlying structure for the bone is like really strong. You know, and so it's so it's really strong as compared to like other cultures. You know what I mean? Like he says, like 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 the complete opposite would be an Asian female. You know, like that. But then I asked him. I said, "Hey, well, what about um? You know, is that because of my African roots? Because you know, I'm I'm ADOS or like that. You know, American sense, you know." So yes, he said, "Well, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, like that." And I said, "But but you know, I also have some American Indian me and some European in me. So you know, would that good?" So some sort of, you know, regional difference, you know, some continental difference. He said, well, he just, he said, well, he says, well, it's the African-American and, and, the, and the Indian, you know, like that. He's got some good stuff in there, you know, strong. So, oh, maybe, maybe that's why, maybe why, that's why this culture don't like us. Too strong. <laughs> too, too, too black, too strong. I used to be a saying from the way, way back. Okay, okay. Okay. So I got this part. Uh, this is this is they're talking about this woman here. Well, let me read the thing first. Discovering the people and taking their well-being into account in economic policy. This was something new and radical in the 30s. Something that our government still formally heeds, even though the old business-centric attitude is clearly dominant again. See, before I said, oh, pff, you ain't gonna handle our money. Just hand money for the big people, you know, whatever. The big people. This was this was um because they had uh, uh, this is from like the New Deal, uh, you know, New Deal in the four, the thirties and the forties right, with Franklin Franklin Delano Roosevelt because they had this woman here, Frances Perkins, in a speech. Uh, she she served as, as Roosevelt uh, Franklin Roosevelt's labor secretary through his entire presidency, and she was in a position to uh, finish an answer. What is a political plot? What is uh, what is just, or was it just a name for a political uh, a period in history? Was it revolution? To all these questions, the answer is no. And then she goes on to say, like it's like million million added. Up. This is kind of interesting. this goes this is what I mean by reading between lines. I say, wait a second. If he had, you know, this woman, uh, you know, uh, this what was she, uh, his labor secretary, a woman labor secretary all this time, but when 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 Truman came over, what happened to all the women? I think Truman got rid of the women because they, Frank, Franklin had a lot of women around. Hey, you know, I'm not saying nothing but like that. I mean, but I was also looking at something earlier. You know, like, where is this thing at? Uh, oh, here it is. Uh, this is a, this is back before the forties, right? This is like in nineteen uh, eighteen ninety eight, right? This is. The name, the name for this story, this uh, something was happening. This campaign was happening. The name for this notorious episode in the white supreme is it, um, the name for this notorious episode is the white supremacy campaign. Nineteen, I'm sorry, eighteen ninety eight. They had a thing called the white supremacy campaign. Right? Uh, 
in uh, nineteen uh, in eight, I keep on saying nineteen eighteen ninety eight. Maybe it really was maybe that nineteen ninety eight was really another white supremacy campaign. This thing goes a cycle. A forwarded plan and mounted by uh, oh an effort plan and mounted by the North Carolina Democrat Party. Hmm. Oh, uh, to uh, to use anti black hysteria to defeat. Uh, forever their political rivals. The supremacist, the supremacist leaders played in particular um, um, upon the nightmarish threat black empowerment supposedly posed to white women. They brought in the South Carolina Democrat Ben Tillman to stroke the flames of racist hysteria even more. Then they used paramilitary gangs to so um, of so-called red shirts to intimidate populist and Republican voters. Now, let me go back to read between the lines. I look at this and I look at this day and age and go like, hey, what are they doing? When I say they, I'm, for me, the Democrat Republicans are all the same, right? What are they doing? They use black hysteria, right? The whole, you know, and, and, and it's like this, like almost like one class and the rich people, you know, the, the one, you know what I mean? They all come together and they use, they use it because, you know, they're using everything, right, to whip up this hysteria, right? And all the right, all this thing is like, it's like the, the, the Donald and the Biden, they, they're both doing the same thing, you know, they, they're effing you, whatever. And then what happens is, you know, they're using a the black hysteria, the women, everybody's fighting each other. It's a lot of confusion, as Miss Neely Fuller would say, a lot of confusion. And of course, Nobody's talking about the finance, whatever have you. I guess they are now because of the pandemic. You know, they still win because we fight another thing that they don't want us to be fighting, you know, to, to be involved with. Look, I'm just saying, I'm reading a book, you know, and a lot of stuff that's happened back, you know, 110 years ago, 120 years ago, right? It's the exact same thing, almost like the exact same players. I mean, don't, don't believe me. Read it for yourself. That's all I got to say. Now, whew, it's rough. I like this book. You'd like it too, maybe, if you want to read it. 